synthetic coke. What else they got? Synthet yeah, synthetic pills like Molly pills. Somebody put too much chemical in it. See, for the, they do it's like it. for the pain, somebody told me take this synthetic. I said, don't thank you. Mm -mm, don't do it. Because a friend of mine took it, and you know what? He had pain or whatever, he was fine. But I says, I can't do it. It was the medicine I take. It would not be good for it. It might affect that. I said, I can't do that. Everybody's chemistry is different. Yeah. Everybody's hormones is different. Their, 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 um, their immune system is different. You know, they're at different phases. So every drug or whatever somebody's taking affect like the way it affects that kid. If I took it, I might just die. If I, if I vape, whatever he's vaping, that might just take me out. You understand? Yeah. See, that's the difference, you know, when we deal with synthetic fake stuff, especially fake stuff, you know, because a lot of them can't afford the, 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 the real stuff, so now they, they're making so much synthetic pill, all that stuff. You don't know what's and in it. And the actual stores are selling it against the law, and that's why... Sure. Undercover cops go in and poof. Well, you know what? They ain't doing their job either. I'm sorry. I'm not I giving know. them no credit. I'm not giving them I don't credit. I'm not giving them no credit for the simple fact is that this right here, what I see in Staten Island, I see they look away at certain things. Only thing they only thing they want to do is eat coffee and donuts and drive around and put their mic on and speed and pass people in line on, on in traffic when they're not going to emergency. You know, they do that a lot. They go into the precinct, they do that. They do it in precinct, and they're not going nowhere. They're just going, <laughs> they're, going they're just the leaving their shift. They're not going to a crisis. <laughs> but there's been little accidents that cops actually hit people. <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny, but I'm keeping it real, but you know what? Real is real. But it's sad wow. that actual cops, i seen on the news, uh -huh. killed people. They were speeding. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well... But that's another era we can talk about the violent trend, you know, continues to see well, that. Well, I got, that. You know, I we, can't we, we show, got, but we, we got, <laughs> I got a little scar line here because a few days ago I had an e-bike cut me off when I was riding my three-wheeler. I fell on the right side and then jumped right, back up. That's right, you got bikes too. Now I have a three-wheeler, but now there's a little more damage to the wheels. The e-bike cut me off. I'm lucky I jumped up. He was speeding. Wow. And I tried to... Turn, guys, I fell sideways and jumped up. He, he was just gone. Well, I'm glad I had an electric bike. Now, this wasn't, I didn't have an electric. This guy had an electric. He was doing 45 miles an hour. I had an electric bike. Let me tell you, I had got it and I had and I had signed my contract with them, but I got to keep it for 30 days. And in 30 days, if I didn't, if I, if I didn't want it, I'd get my money back. And guess what? The brake went, I almost ran into two buses. Because I like, I'm a bike, but I like to ride bikes too. I was enjoying it. I was on Bay Street in Victory. Cut me off. I fell. I fell in the air. On the, I just got the bike. I was loving it. I was speeding. And it felt good. The wind felt good and everything. Turned on Victory and Bay. I got caught between two buses. And if I didn't turn, I fell off the bike in the air. And I was going to get a tattoo, y'all, that day. I wanted to meet somebody doing my tattoo. And I couldn't get I said, you all right? And my bike, I, my bike was okay, just got a little scratch on it. Then all of a sudden, something happened to break it again. I said, well, that's it. I, 30 days almost up, come get this bike, put my money back in on my car. That's what the contract was, so they didn't give me money back. So I didn't go, I haven't been able to find another bike, but I will talk about that later so you know you can help me because I want to get, I want to get a moped with the gas, I want the gas, I want the gas, I want the electric. I'm going to put gas in it. You have to watch out because if it goes a certain mile with the gas, they give you a summons ticket and they confiscate it. It's got to go a below mileage, not over a certain mileage. Oh, you got to, well, you got to teach me something because this young kid got this fly ass bike. I love it. And it's on gas. And that thing is sharp. He told me he paid 800 for But with that, you have to get a special... He don't even have a license. Because he hasn't got caught yet. <laughs> no, he said he don't have to have a license for it. A lot of the gas, if, even if it don't go that fast, you have to... You don't see many of the ones gas that, you know, they don't go as fast. 
You don't see many of them around no more because they confiscated them. Wow. Well, I tell you, I see a lot of... No, they do it because they say they don't need a lot. You know what? You need some type of a little... If it goes past, what they say? Past 30 miles or uh, 25 or something, 30, mile, 30 miles an hour, 30 and over, you have to... It's required a license. I get it. I'm right now, 30 and over. What? You got to talk more about that. It's true. You can look it up. The 30 and you over. You're teaching me something because that's my next investment. For me, I want, I love the I have a friend that has a, an actual gas motorcycle, you know, bike. And he delivers DoorDash in Brooklyn because he lives near Coney Island. Guess what? Guess what? He been on the highway a little and he has... He don't even have his full license yet. He still has his what you permit. Call? He still has his permit for a year, and he's never got caught yet. <sighs> and he's wow. thirty-five. What? Years. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. If it goes over a certain speed limit, they they require you a license though, because know. the electric. Little moped motor that's considered an actual mo mo uh, motor that's a considered like a motorcycle of some more. You know, well, I asked the kid about it. He says, No, he said, I don't have to have it. And the other guy, he had a motorcycle. He said, No, because it's not a motorcycle. It, it's, it's, it, it, yeah, but you, it's don't how, motor. you don't know how fast it goes. Well, he couldn't, he couldn't. Well, to me, it's fast to me to help. I see him speeding out. I see well, him speeding. you know what? He don't want to get caught, probably. He wears crazy. a helmet, though. He yeah, has the helmet I'm on. I'm just saying, you don't get caught. But if you get caught, your bike's gone. They, wow. they confiscated a lot all over Staten Island in the city. Yeah, it's funny because one of my neighbors, he had just bought a brand new motorcycle. I said, look. I knew the family. I said, look. Somebody just, the police just came and took this man's motorcycle. And I told the mother and them, and they kept, I said, he said he just bought us, you bought a hot? Yeah, like he didn't know why. I said, you better go to the police to find out why they took your motorcycle. Now I know why. Because he had no license on it. And it, and it probably was stolen. That's right, if you get a regular electric bike. But they came, they came with the police truck and took it right in front of my building. Like if you get a leather regular electric bike and everything, yeah, if electric. it goes too fast, or miles fast, but you have to watch because they they give you tickets for speed. Well, I, mean, I was I've been I've been but the thing no the thing it doesn't do is if a car speeds or a motorcycle speeds it doesn't give the ticket doesn't give a ticket even to the bikes only to the cars the speed camera always gets ticket to the the car and the trucks to the speed, so they but the bikes, the bike, they, they, they can't. No, it can't detect it. Too fast. Well, we're doing a new tech thing. I'm gonna tell you something. Somebody just brought me up on that. They have. Well, I know my neighborhood. The guy showed me up top. They have. He said that that thing right there. That's for bullets. Shooting bullets. They get that ratio. If somebody shoot up a gun. That's what that's for. Over the light. He said yeah. that's not. That's not a. That's not a camera. That's for bullets. That is, because my, my mother got a ticket. It was what? She was doing 40 miles an hour. Something was going on. But she didn't see the camera. Mm -hmm. But as she got the ticket, she was doing 41, and I think it was 35. or No, speed was 30. Mm -hmm. As she got the ticket, this guy was flying, doing 50 past her as the camera. He was on the bike? No, he was on, He was speeding past her in the car, doing 50, but the camera got her, and this guy was like over here. He didn't get the ticket, she did. What? Yeah. It's interesting. Because they, they speed, very, when they go, when they try to speed, when the camera tries to detect a car going fast, it can't detect that fast. Sometimes it don't. It will respond, it, but it'll it, get the it, other it's person. It's like the signal and getting it. Yeah. It's, it's the signal it's I mean, like, they're going too fast. If you're doing 50 and I'm doing 40, right. it would actually catch, catch me. Catch you before it catches someone that's going no. faster. You, no, it would actually catch me and not catch you. You said if you're going 40 yeah. and I'm going 50, that means you're going less. Yeah, because the speed limit is 35, so I'm going five miles over it. Right. It would catch me, not you. Yeah, that's what you said. Because by the time the signal reacts, it's already, it's already... Right. So that means the person who's going the fastest, it won't get the ticket. 
even on the other one is over the speed of living too, but it's less than the one who's going faster than the one yeah. who's going fast too, but not as fast as the one. I got it. That's some crazy stuff. They better, listen, y'all better get it together, United States. You know, y'all better get some different techs in here, know what they're doing, and stop putting things up fast and using people as guinea pigs and giving them tickets for other people who deserve the ticket besides the one that got the ticket. That's crazy. I had to say that. I'm sorry, Sal. I had to say that one. But let's get back and read up. I enjoy talking to him. I want to get back to his paddle ball stuff and everything. I know we got off the course for a minute, but at least we got some good information. I got some information for him, and he gave some information to you. You know, those who would like bikes like me, you know, it's something to look at. But back to the kids that we were talking about, the students, you know, in terms of this sport, it's one. It's a good sport that kids, because kids love balls. They love basketball. They love baseball. You know, and I find that I find that those who want to take advantage of a sport like this, they keep away from the negative people out there. You know, and, and what I want to hear you say, basically, Sal, in terms of telling the public and telling kids out there that are interested in getting with you in this program that you want to develop for kids, paddleball and handball, because this is really exciting, you know. Maybe I might want to take a course from you <laughs> at 61. How about that? I'll be 62 coming up, but I would love to um, get more involved. See, that's the one thing I want to do now with Seriously. that, because of whatever happens with the conditions, they get worse. If I'm not able to c play or compete a lot, I could help another kid. Yes. Not teach take, them, teach yeah, them and make them, them get better at it, and right. then it'd make me feel better. If this yeah. other kid would have stuck around, it would have been good for me. But, but listen, there's more kids out there that want something like this, and they can find No, but some parents are strict, they won't. Because they well, want all the not, proof. They want this, they want that, they want this. They well, want listen, that. we know we have a standard. But I'm just saying, if you trust your kid to go to school, that should be trust too. Well, you're letting them go to school. You're letting them leave you know, during the crowd and, and, and all that stuff going on. Yeah. At the school, cause see, that's the thing. See, once your kid go to school, it's a totally different ball game. You know, we know that. Like I told you, I used to be on the bus, and I think it was St. Mary's, a Catholic school, right? These young girls had on on their uniform. I said, look at the girl. So when she got on the bus with her friends. She took off, she changed her whole thing. She had a little mini school skirt on, you know, uniform, school uniform, cap uniform. Had the shirt pulled up like this, put on makeup. Now they came out with their face. Little kids, little girls. So when they get on school, and then they had a little bag, changed back into their regular clothes. So they go home like they're so sweet and nice, and they're good and perfect, like parent, their parents think they're the perfect ones. But they're the ones out there being the little hoes. Yeah. How about that? And it's funny. It's funny because it, it reminds you of some, because we're older, of when we were kids. But these kids today are not like us. They're not like you when you're aged at this format, and they're definitely not like what I came up with. Yes, kids are going to be mistress and everything. That's, you're going to find some, you're going to find some fast ones out there. You're going to find some that, that, that's dropouts, you know, because I had a lot when I was, I grew up in the Hamptons. And let me tell you, we, the beach was our front. We had a beach called Hot Dog Beach. That's where all the bikers was. That's why I love bikes. <laughs> so I'm a party. We used to party, cut school, and go to the beach. Now let me tell you what you find out there. Back then it was acid strip. We were on the acid strip. Hash. Real marijuana. <clears throat> Cocaine came in the scene and those who like heroin. I mean real heroin. And I was a youngster. So what they doing now, like I I never seen, I never knew that a person, I always thought a person who did heroin was always needle. That's why I never messed with it. Because I don't like these. I said, cry about the doctor. Thank you. I still act crazy when they have to take blood for me. 
So you better get it right, or you're not going to my mama. She's not going to poke me up like I'm a junkie. Yeah. Seriously. But I didn't know in my old age that people would sniff dope. I thought you only be shooting up. Why is she talking to me? I know a guy in his 70s that plays pal, and he's actually. <laughs> No, and no, I'm watching, no, and I'm let like, me, let me tell you something. And let me tell you, after he smokes the tree, he's supposed to play next. <laughs> he's in the chase. Well, let me tell you, being in South Jamaica, right? I knew people who were basketball coaches in the profession, models. And all of a sudden, when I was in college, I did a paper on Haron. So I knew who to go to to tell me about Haron. And I got an A plus on my future paper, the, the research I did on it. Yeah. I went to real people who messed with heroin. And let me tell you, I, I said, looking at these professional people every day making big money, you wouldn't believe they ain't had no tracks. They shot in their vagina, in their penis, oh, in their toes. What is she talking? He's a freaking basketball coach. But you wouldn't know it. Go to work every day, oh, even the Wall Street tycoons, where their their corporate broker suits, honey, heroin addicts. But you wouldn't know it, making a lot of money. You wouldn't even know it. He's looking at me. You wouldn't even know it, and especially especially women going into professions. They never had you would never see no tracks because they were shooting their vagina, wearing their feet. Lord. Even have you seen those tracks? Stone heroin addicts make a lot of money. I said, what? How do they function every day? They support their habit. They make a lot of money. But what you see on the street is not what you see in the profession. That's all I'm saying. I know. See? And that's where the hypocrite comes. Because the same ones that, that putting people away in jail for drugs, they most of them, some of them are drug addicts. Don't get it twisted. Drug, drug, um, judges. Oh yeah. Actually, that's why I used. To, oh yeah. That's why I like. Big to, time. Big time. I used to like to play the people that did the drugs, but it was stupid because they play me. They play good, but then they lose the money to me, and then and, and I was like, you, you lost. You got to give it to me. I says, you, you don't have the money to buy it again. Sorry, you lost. You got to give it to me. Yeah. And that's what happens. It's terrible. So what do you have to say for these kids, you know, in terms of what, what you're trying to do with, with, with getting this off the ground? Because, I see a lot of because the kids, these kids are dying out here. I see a lot of kids younger that were into the sports and everything, mm -hmm. even the sport I played, had the power. And now once this vape thing, that's all I see now. You know, you know, you know I, the vape is worse than smoking a cigarette, honey. It's all chemical. You got, I mean, they, I mean, am I, you know, they got kids that are, I said, they can get a ticket to that? Yeah, it's chemical. Well, they say, they say it helps them communicate and focus more in, in their class. But I don't believe it. No, no. Yeah, and this kid fast, I was telling about you, he was fuming. Last was it last year? He was a few months away to graduate. He didn't graduate. I found out. So some wow. one of his friends told me, and oh I don't think God. his parents. They no. probably knew some, but he. I don't think he even went for a GED or nothing. Wow! Is he your only child? I, he's the only child. Wow! That's sad, but you know what? There's other ones just like him, and you know I want you. See how our time flies. I want you, Sal, to keep doing what you're doing. It's going to come. I believe that. And I always say to people that it's not what you do, it's how you do it. And it's always the principle. If you stick to the principle, I don't care what anybody say. Hey, whatever. You know, people defame me every day. And I sit there and laugh at them because, you know, like I said, this 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 garbage in our neighborhood who's general stealing charitable goods, selling it to the bodega stores, she thinks she's the crap. And let me tell you something, the more she come at me, the more she's telling herself. And I sit look at her and I'd be like, you know what? 
The creator got your back. The creator got your back. You know, because the more you lie, the fame somebody's character, it's not going to make you look better. But if you believe, that's the way I was raised. If you believe and love what you do, it that's, will. That's why. It will continue. To winning, grow. winning is everything. Yeah. Winning is everything. Winning is everything. If you everything. keep yourself in good shape, that's it. Strength. And having faith. Faith. You believe in yourself. You love yourself. You love people, and you're doing things from the heart. From the heart. It will all come. It's just that, like they say, like, it doesn't matter what your religion is. It's just, it's in a thing that whatever scripture you're reading from, Catholic, Roman, whatever, in your scriptures, they all have the same type of scripture in every religion about you have to be patient. Patient is in every book. Every dialogue book, you hear the word patience. It come in time. When your time is ready, it's coming. That's that's you hear that is you hate to hear it. But then the main thing is they say you gotta be humble. You cannot sit here and and argue with people when there's nothing to argue with. Let's argue by themselves. My father said to us all the time. You know, as, as kids, because we you know as as children, they get lost. Because of peer pressure. And that's why I said this sport got to get off the ground. You got to keep it alive. You got to keep it alive. That's right. I'm in the group chat. Watch out. <laughs> we're friends of mine my age in the third. We're all on a whole thing. Mm -hmm. Well, explain. Listen. It's actually a good idea. Because to we, Listen, we got a few minutes, right? So I want you to tell them. Explain to them real quick about the group chat and how it works and everything because we got to bring up your um, ending so I can show it to them so we can show it on TV what you're actually doing and where they can find you and everything. So I'm going to give you the floor right now. I'm not going to say nothing else, but I try to crack down Mr. Kenny, Kenny Graham. Uh -huh. <laughs> real quick. Kenny Graham, y'all. I know. It's Go ahead, Sal. It's the WhatsApp group chat that I'm in that one of my friends went to the, and I used to play with in the city. Mm -hmm. He came, to, I, I showed him, he just moved to Staten Island recently, a few months ago. I said, well, come to Midland. Uh, there's people there. And then I came there and he didn't know the other people. And they're like, oh, other people that were playing there were from another park of Staten. And he's like, we all got to, oh, I used to play in this other park and all he was there. Oh, what's your number together? What's your number together? And then that's how we all connected. Right. So so when they connected like that, that's this is where we're at. So we want to show them actually where they can find you and show a video. So we can ready to show that right now. Isn't that right, Mr. Kenny Graham? <laughs> yeah, it's a little duck. I had to cut the documentary because it was it was one of the handball players. So okay. I actually edited it and put the, the mm -hmm. caption in the beginning and then it shows a picture of me mm -hmm. with the do rag white with the same actually i have the same white do rag at home okay it's from 20 it's from 2010 and i have the same goggles at home okay and wow i cut the clip in and then i and then i added the thing with the youtube i added i added that in okay and a couple of people have been going on YouTube recently, and they like the like they so, like all my videos, so, so, and they send comments. So how's how's your how's your rating going up? Is it going up high? So since you put it on YouTube? Well, it's pretty. It's in the middle right now. That's okay. You just started. Don't worry. We're gonna keep trying to promote that because you know I like YouTube, but I just like I said, I gotta get my channel together. I have a YouTube channel that needs work done to it, and I that you have to excuse me, but it will get together very soon. But a lot of people out of state don't live in New York. They don't watch my show, so that's why I try to record as much as I can. But I'm not the best tech for tech person, as you know. It's just not me, you know. But anyway, it is what it is. But um, we're gonna get started on that because I really want them to see um, the video. Well, I like you know, I man. cut that clip, but the I did that myself because mm -hmm. when I had my videos, 
Because I'm going to be doing a little documentary on myself in okay. December. I'm going to add everything together. Okay. And this yeah. is part of the uh, way they can find me. So, and... All right. So listen, let's show it. I would like to show it now, Sal. Sal's video and his YouTube channel so people can look in and check him out. So let's look at that right now, people. Bring it up. Type that in and you'll see the videos and you can comment. Yes, make sure you go on that YouTube channel. We're gonna bring it back. I'm gonna put it on my social media. Thank you, Kenny. That was actually a lot it took you. me a lot of work to do that by the really? phone. I had to do it by cell phone. Not bad, not bad. I'm pretty good. I give you that sound. It took pretty about a few hours long hours. And not bad. Editing at all. and adding all that in together. Wow. So we got five minutes left and I want you to tell them. Let's talk about it again, where they can find you on social media. I want you to just go ahead and say it out loud. It's You're on Facebook? It's Facebook. Tell me your name. Uh, Sal Cotticelli together. And what's the spell that? S-A-L-C-O-T-I-C-E-L-L-I. If you go on a web and you just type my name, and, or, mm -hmm. and you could actually find me on there, too. Right. OK. And you're also on Instagram? Instagram, that I don't know off right. my head right now. Okay. But I'm on You'll Instagram to too. On Instagram. TikTok. <laughs> on, you on TikTok? I post the videos on TikTok too. I don't know how to do TikTok. I don't know how to do TikTok. I don't. It makes it into TikTok. Tell me about TikTok, how it works. I just want to hear how well, you do use with it. Because I, I love have the videos. So many people I don't even know that even like the video. And I think I go live sometimes. I had to get over how many Oh, how many people? You have to get a certain amount of people to request you. Then you can go live. I got so many. That's how TikTok works? Yeah. I so, got... So explain to, me I how, actually, explain to me how it actually works. Like you could... You do a you video. You make a video. You okay. make a video and people comment on it. And then, you know, they, they, they it shows how many views you get. And the most of... If you get... A lot of views, then you wind up getting something from TikTok that they send you. Like you gotta get like a, a can't really say, but you mean they give you send you money? They send you a donation money if you have if you get more than a lot of views. You gotta have like I don't know if it's ten hundred or twelve hundred a lot of views. I had I had something sent to me. It was very it was okay. a low, but I had twelve hundred and twenty four views of the video, and it was only for one day. Stop! That's why everybody's on TikTok. Yeah, they 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 what? they actually. So it's not like see, Instagram. You could go on there and promote anything on there, yeah. and the more and once your video stops live, they can replay it and see it, and the more views you get. That's how. Wow. So it's not set up like Instagram. No. That's why everybody. That's why if you see TikTok, TikTok and it says, hey, look what I got from you. Yeah. Because they keep sending me, you know, they, some of my reels that I've done, video reels I've done, somebody posted them, and TikTok keeps sending me messages that they like my reels and they would like me to, they would like me to get on TikTok. And I keep declining them. I got time for another social media page. You could just type, you could do a, a minute video of you walking and you'll get, a friend of mine did a video of five minutes. He got 900 something views and he was just coming home on a train. What? <laughs> well, they take the people on the train. Guys with a, guy with oh, I got a lot of guys. videos. I got a lot of videos. Oh but my so God. So you have to watch some of the videos you go, you could go on there, vi you know, they post. You could actually save their video and use it. That's going to get some more? Some of them, it's not, but you have to watch it. They catch it, they can report it. But it's also, I report it if they can find yeah. it. Oh, yeah, like a video. 
But anyway, it was good having Sal here today. We, we got to go now. Our hour is already up, y'all. I just want to say I'm glad to have Sal back here. I'm glad. I'm sorry it took me so long, Sal, to get to part two. But I didn't forget to because I love him to death. I love conversating with this man because he is so interesting. And like I said, anybody out there that's interested in powerball or handball, you need to get in touch with this man here. And they know me here. as Punchball Sal punch everywhere. Punchball Sal! Punchball Sal! They know me everywhere. Love you, Sal. They tell the kids, let them get involved, keep them out of trouble. Sports is a good thing. This is a good thing right here. Look at this. First place. Yes! Love you, Sal. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. This is Fun Scotch Angie Live. Stay tuned for the next segment. And I look forward to having Sal back here pretty soon. Remember to go on his site. He's on Facebook, Instagram, and he told you his website. Stay tuned. Goodbye. That's actually one of my I love it. everybody that I take. <laughs> He's got to bring her one piece. Hmm? Hey, look. He's got to bring her one of these. He had a guy make oh, these wow. up. Nice. He had a guy make these up. That's nice. Yeah. There's a guy that makes them up for him. He's got to bring her one one day. <laughs> She'll love that. Hey mom. hey mom, do we do us I need to show you something. Wait, mom, do us a favor. Next time you come, you gotta bring her one. What do I want to do something my what? I have a card. That's him. I'm working oh, on Oh shoot! No guy sent me them, but I have yeah, to go I have to go online. I'll bring you I have to go online. You should have brought me my card. Do me a favor. I'm actually you making... you put you put it, you charge me now? Oh good. Thank you, Kenny. You're Guy right. made a bunch of them, and I'm I trying to make them. Do me a favor. This is the flip. No, she could use mine, and then I can send. Oh, okay, go ahead. Go that's ahead. the phone that flipped. That's the one no, that put in my pocket. Yeah. Is that what that is? Yeah, I'm still learning how to use it. Oh, I know. It's so exciting. <laughs> I, I love this part because I can do this. Contact Raven 